testing again, testing, 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 looking at the camera now. Okay, so biotechnology onto this experiment. It's genes in a bottle from BioRad, just to be honest about where I got all of this from. We're going to use their procedure. Their procedure says we take some tap water, we rub our mouth for 30 seconds, so let's do that. And I'll be quiet during that time. Try and unlock my phone. Ready? Go. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken some tap water. That's why I'm not wearing goggles at the moment, because it's tap water that I've got to put in my mouth. Mix, flushed out the water from my mouth and some cells that have broken off the inside of my cheeks. It's much like you would have in a, uh, a test, so a DNA test, but um, a little bit uh, more brutal. We've got a lot more cells in there. You can see it. It's all cloudy. So now I'm going to add two milliliters of lysis buffer, which is SDS. It's soap, mostly soap. So it also contains some buffer. The buffer is in there to keep the pH constant. That's one milliliter. That's two milliliters. Top off so it doesn't damage it. Oops. Now I'll put one of these on temporarily. These are supposed to have socks, but they don't. So let's do this. Um, I think I'm just going to check whether I'm supposed to add the other component. So I've added my protease. And I think I missed step recording, so I forgot to record it. I added my protease, mixed it up again. The protease was in here, protease and salt, which is really concentrated. I've added it to my tube and I put it into this hot water bath at 50 degrees. We're supposed to wait for some time now. Okay, and back to here. 10 minutes later, and I've left it also left it to cool. We can see it's got a little bit thicker. I have changed the container because I need to add some cold ethanol and it wouldn't have fitted in the other one. So that's what we're going to do. We add it carefully so I can balance the cold ethanol on the top. I'm going to add a lot. So, that's our ethanol on the top. This is where the foam was in between, and we can see the water layer on the bottom. It's slightly more dense, so it can sit on the bottom there. Let's put it in there carefully and leave it for some time. So what we've seen is when the protease has worked and opened up the DNA, our solution appears to become more viscous. Um, and now that I've added ethanol to it, it generates a weird layer in between where the DNA is unhappy because it's not very soluble in ethanol. So in the boundary between the ethanol and the water, there's a really high concentration of ethanol and the DNA drops out of solution. And that helps it, the, so generating this concentration gradient helps it to start little chunks, which will then eventually collect all the other pieces. We have to leave it for five minutes now. Okay, so now, oh, hello. What we're going to do is take this and we're going to give it a shake. You can see that there's a layer of what looks to be gunky, weird filaments, so white filaments, and there's the ethanol on the top and the water on the bottom. We'll give it a quick shake. It's a bit difficult in this configuration. What you can see is that slimy white tendrils are formed. See that? Yeah. So this is yeah. There we go. So what you can see is that slimy white tendrils are formed inside there. That is the DNA forming clumps. So let's give it a, another quick invert, and we will wait now for that to fall to the bottom as a somewhat gross-looking white 
cheesy mess, then we can extract all of the other material uh, from the top and the bottom. Let's give it a bit more of a shake because I think there's a bit of water left in there. There, that's better. There's no water at the bottom. There was some salty water at the bottom holding it off the bottom. So there will be another little delay of a couple of minutes while that it didn't need nearly as long. Here we go, as I thought, it fell to the bottom very quickly. You can see there, put my hand behind it, it's a little bit difficult to show. There's this little white chunk in the bottom, which is the DNA polymer, and obviously a whole load of water and salt connected together, falling out. Then we can suck out all of this material from the top, which is basically a sort of alcoholic soup of um, yeah, proteins and sugars and all kinds of things and get just the DNA out at the end. So that was our experiment. Virad, genes in a bottle, um, sort of done by me this time.